Welcome to another vlog. It is Monday, April 15th, 8.02 p.m. You might be wondering why I'm starting on a Monday at 8 p.m. and it's because if I don't start now, I won't. I was on live this morning and people were asking me when I was getting back onto YouTube and I kind of just said I wasn't doing vlogs because I felt like I was boring. Like I, I haven't been doing much of anything and people were saying, well, that's what we like. We like the everyday normal stuff. I love your YouTube vlogs. So that was really motivating. And here we are. If you want to see the mundane things in my life, then just keep watching. I was craving Pop-Tarts, but then I saw these. I know, health. I found this. I went in for Powerade, but they have this Barty, Barty, <gasps> a body armor flash IV rapid rehydration. This is grape UVA. Ugh, that's salty. I know electrolyte drinks are supposed to be kind of salty. Like Pedialyte. Oof, Pedialyte. Let's make dinner. A little more chewy. It's Tuesday, my least favorite day of the week. I'm not sure. Normally we would be going on a walk at this time, but there's a chance of rain in like an hour and we're gone for like an hour and 20 minutes. Actually, this side is promising. That side, not so much. Our palm trees are dead. This one's gone for good. This one has potential. Love that tree. This is my first time trying this jam. Mmm. That's good. Happy Wednesday. Did I film yesterday? How was, sweet boy? What to do with? I'm at Purple Cow right now. So tonight I am going to, I think we might be going Pelican to Mars every third Wednesday of the month. They're starting a thing. I forgot what it's called, but it's like a reading night where you go at a certain point, you start reading and you read for an hour. And then after that, it's like the social hour. And so you can like talk amongst the other people there about the books or if you want to talk about books or whatever. So me and Kate are planning on going to that tonight. Then there's also a Smoothie King right here. And I think I'm gonna get a smoothie, like an energized. They have some espresso ones. I wanna try their espresso, <laughs> I was gonna say martini, their espresso shakes. We'll see, it sounds so good though. I left with a book and a pair of pants and I will show you when I get back home after I pick up my smoothie because, and I will also try the smoothie at home because I really have to pee. I think I have a UTI and see you at home. I don't know why I didn't just go into Smoothie King. I just wanted to come home. I just needed to like get the home. Why am I shaking it like it's a coffee? Ooh. Mm. That's good. But honestly, anything with peanut butter is good. I feel like it kind of has an aftertaste. I don't know about right now, okay? I will enjoy this. Sorry, the book I got, Haunt Me Still by Jennifer Lee Carell or Carol Carell. I haven't really been, I don't really read books like this, but I love a good castle setting, so. And then I got these pants. Didn't even try them on, so don't know if they're gonna fit. They're size four. I have not been in a size four since I was like in high school. I don't even know if I was in a four then, but I have been fitting in fours lately. So I was like, let me give it a shot. It's kind of short, but all jeans are short on me unless I specifically buy long. But wow, wait a second. Okay, these are kind of a lot, wait. I don't like how short they are. I got so lucky. I say I get lucky and I'm not even like in love with them, but I will 1 million percent wear these. Here's maybe a little bit better of a look. I just, the freaking length. Nothing is ever long enough on me. 
update on my life. I didn't go to Ulta, started driving there, and I had just finished that smoothie, and I just started feeling like crap, like really nauseous. So I was like, maybe I, that, it, that was a big smoothie, so I probably just drank too much. I'm not walking into Ulta. And then also I realized that the book that I got is a series. I need the first one. Can't read the second one without reading the first one, so can't re bring that to the book thing tonight. I'm just going to read this Nora Roberts Blood Brothers one. I'm just going to be very careful with it, but I'm going to start this since this is a library book. This is from the library. And then I'm going to start dinner, actually. It's a soup, so I can keep it on low for the rest of the day or just like on warm. So that way, when Sebby gets home, he has some soup because I'm, I'm a good wife like that, you know? He's making bail. Oh, yeah, glow. Mm, touch it in. before I think maybe in a salad pretty sure I've never had it in a soup sorry Sebby's gonna hate that he's not gonna like the kale mm. I'm gonna go get ready I'm ready actually I'm not changed yet I still have to change and I haven't done my lips yet but the kale does look like it wilted is that the right way? Some more, so hopefully the texture is a little bit better. Mm. It's still the same. It's really good though. Like, I don't mind the texture of it. Sorry if you don't like slurping. <laughs> this is my outfit. But have I been on YouTube since I got this, finally got this full length mirror? These pants are from Zara. Top is. I think also from Zara. My current favorite lip combo, if you don't follow me on TikTok, is Charlotte Tilbury, an iconic nude, and the Makeup Revolution Kiss Nude. They pair so well together. Isn't she cute? <laughs> I did not film any of the book club. It was amazing, absolutely amazing. There were so many people here. We will definitely be back. And I'll show you the like kind of atmosphere that there is here. And my chihuahua dropped a dead snake in the tub and it was still moving. It's like I'm dying. This is Daisy May. Daisy? Dash, are you hungry? And then she's in the dress. Mm -hmm. Well, in the concert, men run out from under her oh. dress with leashes on their necks. Oh, yeah, that would be you, except all shit. Happy Thursday. I like Thursdays. I am about to go to the farmer's market. But first, I need to drop off three of these. One, two, and three. See the farmer's market. I've also not had coffee yet, so sometimes they have a little stand that has Vietnamese coffee. So if they have that, I'm definitely gonna pick some of that up. They all are. Is that just kind of like a sugar cookie? But look at the lovely pile of dirt behind me. I got it. Dude, nobody has eggs. This is like the third time I've been to the farmer's market and there were no eggs. What is happening? It's fine, but I'll see if there's somewhere else. Look at these green onions, dude. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these, but I didn't realize how big they were when I was like, uh, can I have some green onions? She was like, yeah, $4 what the heck my girl sandy that has my favorite jams she was not there my other favorite elena she does a lot of hibiscus and uh she had a blackberry jam so i'm gonna 
I'm gonna try hers. Her hibiscus is, she makes a hibiscus simple syrup that you can literally put in anything. She said she puts it in Raising Cane's lemonade. That sounds good. Um, I've done it in a margarita. That's really good. You can literally put it in any drink and it's, and that's all I got. Uh, normally I would also have eggs. I still haven't gone to Ulta, so I need to go to Ulta to try to see if there's a new foundation that I can review and then some fresh eggs. This big ass warehouse didn't have one thing of eggs. What the heck? Okay, fresh pickings don't let me down, friend. Okay, we made it to Ulta. I got these. These were on sale for $9. They were originally like $13, so uh, these are some of my favorite lashes. For foundation, I know this isn't new, but I've never tried About Face, and I swatched this on my hand, and it seemed like a really, really nice consistency with good coverage, so really excited to try that. And I got a lip liner, so juicy, in the shade oh <laughs> westwood and then i also got these were on sale too these morphe drip glass and i got it in the shade i really need to do my nails i got it in the shade polished peach i am 85 percent sure that coffee did not have any caffeine i think it was decaf i'm gonna make a light lunch and then another coffee and do some makeup cut off some of the ends of that put them in my egg so just cooking those down a little bit i'm gonna put some of this spicy chili crisp in the pan too and then the egg on top if you could smell this friend if you could freaking smell this put some avocado and some salt and pepper i put some green onions on top i will be putting green onions on everything for the foreseeable future that's the best avocado toast I've ever had. Oh my god. And I'll see you when I see you. Hello. Happy Friday. I love Fridays. I love the feeling of Fridays. Spent the morning. I did a live this morning. And I've just kind of been like doing some laundry, stuff like that. Now I need to catch up on like two weeks worth of emails. Don't ask me why I've been avoiding these. I just have been. Sometimes I get really discouraged and I take a break from my emails, which is probably the last thing I need to take a break from. So I'm getting my ass in gear. I just made a coffee. I don't know what I'm getting up to the rest of the day. I'll try to film it if I do anything interesting. Um, tomorrow though, tomorrow I'm going back to Pelican to Mars where we did the silent book club and it's just a day of festivities there. The owner talked to us and he was like, y'all should come on Saturday. And we were like, okay, like you don't have to tell us twice. We will probably bring the dogs and it's gonna be a good day. So gentle, so excited. I just got the cutest package from Kaja. Blush sticks, but you can also use them on their lips. You're on their lips, on your lips. I swatched it, I swatched this one shade. Fig smoothie on my hand and the consistency, it's like kind of thick and tacky, which I really, really like. I'm not sure, I'm not familiar using bl uh, like cream blushes that are that consistency. So I'm gonna have to play around with it a little bit, but I'm very excited to try those. I was also sent a while back this hard candy package. These nails, and I really like them, but I think they might be too long for me. I'm not sure. I might still try them out. Um, these are definitely too long for me. I don't like nails. Like, these are really pretty, but way too long. I like these, but they're round, and I'm more of a square girly. I think Alfie actually likes the sound of a uh, bubble wrap popping. I'm cleaning up my filming makeup room so I can really like set it up. Wild Friday afternoon. As I'm cleaning this room, I'm going through some of my PR packages and I found these hand, it's like a hand mask. And then I put them on and I don't like the way they feel, but I want to finish it, but I can't like do anything with them on. So I'm chilling for the next 15 minutes with these. <laughs> mainly put them on because I want to do my nails later so uh, I was kind of hoping it would make my 
hands nice and soft and pretty for my new nails. Happy Saturday. It's 6 a.m. Me and Alfred just waiting on Auntie Kate and little Motley Vito to get here. Alfred, you ready to go? Sunday. I didn't film much yesterday. What's new? I just, I get so in the moment with my friends and I just forget to film, which there's nothing wrong with that, but I also need to prioritize it sometimes. Forgive me. It's Sunday and we are having a rot day. But first I'm going to go get some donuts and kolaches and then I'll probably end the vlog tomorrow on Monday with dinner because I'm making a soup tomorrow. I'm not cooking today. So let's go get some donuts. Would symbolize Western expansion and distinguish the St. Louis skyline. Not sure it's left a mark as much as a hole oh, the size of a candle. Oh, he's a pretty bastard. Come pick him up. Ask the captain. Maybe he'll go for it. Hey, captain. Happy Monday. It's stunning outside. It's so pretty. We came to a dog park that we've never come to before, but it's actually really nice. We're in the small dog area and he's the only one here. There's dogs over there, but he's kind of, he likes big dogs, but when Alfie plays with dogs, he barks and he often scares the big dogs. So, hi buddy, you by yourself. <laughs> Back home. I'm about to do a quick little workout because since we went to the park, I'm not going to do an afternoon walk. So what I'm thinking is every other day switching it up. Say Monday, I always do the four mile walk in the morning. And then in the afternoon, Monday, I'll do my a workout instead of doing a second walk. And then the next day, four mile walk in the morning, three mile walk in the evening instead of the workout. And then just switch like workout every other day. And for dinner tonight, we are having one pot cheesy taco turkey and bean soup. Mmm, doesn't that look good? I have the windows open and then the bedroom windows. This, this is like my favorite part of the house, the bedroom, the view, the windows, it's everything. I could literally sit in here all day. It boosts my serotonin so much, especially when I can open the windows. And this is a very tiny window of time that I'm going to be able to keep these windows open. So I am taking full advantage of it. All right, bud, let's go work out. It's freaking bomb. It's so good, mate. One of these days I will speak in my own accent consistently, but it's not gonna be today, all right? Happy Monday. I'm gonna end this vlog with dinner or happy hour tonight. I'm going to happy hour with Kate and I'll end this, I'll end the vlog there. I'll start on another vlog. I'm gonna try to do my best 
at weekly vlogs or bi-weekly, wish me luck. Uh, and the only thing that hinders me from doing that is feeling like I'm boring. Please leave a comment if you, even if it's just a hi in anything, just to let me know that you guys are here and that you're enjoying it or what you wanna see more of or what you wanna see less of. I am accepting constructive criticism here, okay? I will see you at happy hour and then I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye guys. Kate is freaking out because we're hiding. <laughs> so the bride of the, or not the bride. The soon to be bride. Yes, her boyfriend is proposing on tomorrow and she's here as a surprise. Hi, and <laughs> Yes, and we happen to be on the same flipping street. <laughs> and we're trying to go In to brunch. In the entire city of Chicago. <laughs> she's a block that way. So yeah. <laughs> Right by Viagra Triangle if we wanted to go. This is actually criminal. It's it's like almost eight o'clock. I've spent the entire day in bed. It was the four of us girls and we were just having such a good time together. Like those are Kate's friends that she's had for a while and I got to finally meet them and it was just like, just good company and we were having so much fun, but I paid for it today big time. I was telling Kate earlier, I don't think I've been this hungover since I was like in my early 20s when I just didn't know my limits and you know, that's kind of how I was acting last night. When in Chicago, I guess. So I'll see you guys back in Baton Rouge. Loading, loading, strike for the lyrics like I'm bowling, bowling, pushing on, keep rolling, rolling, and I went my list up, I told him, told him, told him.